Hello you guys, happy Friday. I just wanted to start off a weekend vlog. Um, it's actually about 3 p.m. right now, but I just haven't done anything yet today really, <laughs> just hanging out at home with Tommy. Um, but I just ran to Bash House, which is the store, the grocery store across the road, um, to grab some stuff for dinner. So I'm actually gonna make dinner now. I just put Tommy down for a nap, so I have some time. Um, and then when I'm done making dinner, Ben's on call this weekend, so we're gonna eat dinner when he gets home. I feel like I'm making this more confusing than it has to be. We're gonna eat dinner when he gets home from work, and then we're gonna go downtown with him because he has to go to the hospital downtown, and while he's there, Tommy and I are gonna go check on our rental house, um, and then we'll all come home together. So that's what's on the agenda for the evening. I'm gonna prep dinner now. I'm just gonna make chicken and mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, I never make mashed potatoes and gravy, like, ever. The last time was Thanksgiving, and the time before that was last Thanksgiving. Um, but I feel like Tommy would really like them, so I'm gonna make mashed potatoes and gravy for dinner. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get that started. Um, there's a black rack right across the road from Brasha's, so I just got a Mai Tai fuel. Um, which I've watched them make it like through the window. It's literally just an energy drink like from the can. They pour it in here and then they put a splash of orange juice in there. So I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I mean I figured that's what it was but now I like feel bad going and just buying like an energy drink like from the can. Like I could go buy that at the gas station and probably be less than seven dollars but anyway. Um, I got this Starbucks iced coffee. This is the medium roast, unsweetened. I got a sweet tea. And then I actually got milk. Um, I never buy real milk, um, but I need it for the mashed potatoes. So I got that. And then, oops, I tied this bag. I just got some russet potatoes. Um, and then I got this like pre like already ready chicken breast it's the italian parmesan one um i love this one and i'll give this one to tea as well i need to start making dinners that i don't have to like give tea something different like i just want to give him whatever we eat and i always make like hot chicken like i'll do a ton of pepper and paprika or the um sauce from whole foods like the hot sauce so I used to make this one all the time when we first moved here because it's just so easy. I don't even use butter or oil or anything. I just put it on the pan and that's it. Um, so I want to start doing like regular chicken and stuff just because I need to feed him more like real food. Um, so anyway, there are my potatoes, sour cream. I put sour cream, milk, and butter in my mashed potatoes. And then I just got this gravy mix in the packet. I have never made real gravy. I don't even know how. Um, so this, you literally just need a cup of water. Um, but anyway, I'm going to make dinner now. I just have the potatoes boiling. Um, I just peeled them and then I did cut them up smaller. You can leave them whole, but they'll boil faster if you cut them up smaller. Um, and then I did put salt in there as well. Um, so when they're soft enough that like a fork will just easily go through them, I'll take them off and put them in the mixer. Here's the chicken breast. Um, and also this package, both of these together, was $7.49, which is actually cheaper than the just package of raw chicken breast that I get at Whole Foods. Um, that's usually like $12 or $13. And then I also have to prepare it. <laughs> So I think I'm going to start getting my chicken breast at Bash's again already prepared because it's just so easy. Tommy can eat this. It's not like spicy or anything. So I need to start going back to Bash's for certain things. So I just did half a stick of butter, the whole small thing of cream cheese. It's only eight ounces. Um, a little bit of milk and then I'm going to add the salt and pepper in there. But this is what it looks like. Okay, here is dinner all done. Um, I just put the chicken in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes. The mashed potatoes, so creamy. And then here's T's little plate. How cute is that? Come on. I am just gonna sit down and eat with him. 
I read that it's um, like better if you sit down and eat with your baby. Um, that way he sees you eating the same things and sees how you're doing it and he learns from that. Um, I don't actually know, I just read that on Instagram, but. Just dropped Ben off at the hospital downtown um, and T and I are headed to the rental house. He's very chatty tonight. <laughs> Do you think it was from the microwave? I put it in and it was one. That is so <laughs> Is it like a healthy cookie? What does that taste? It's like almost banana-ish. Do you taste it now that I say it? Yeah. It doesn't taste like rice, but um... That's the kind of house I live in. There's a nink in the sink and a zamp in the lamp, and they're rather nice, I think. Some of them are very friendly, like the yacht in the pot, but that yarrow in the bottle, some are friendly, some are not. I like the sable on the table and the gear under the chair, but that bofa on the sofa, well, I wish he wasn't there. So typically your videos, you, you let the sound play or you don't? How are you? Good, thank you. <laughs> yeah, what are we grabbing for you today? Can I just get a large iced Mai Tai fuel? A large iced what? Mai Tai fuel. Mai Tai, yeah. Regular, sugar-free, or organic? Regular is fine. Awesome. Anything else today? No, that's all. All right, we will see you at that window. Okay, thanks.
check in with you guys after we leave the rental. I ended up just coming home after the rental house instead of going to the farmer's market because Tommy fell asleep in the car as soon as I put him in it after the rental. Um, and I didn't want to wake him up just to go to the farmer's market. So we came home. I'm going to change my clothes because it's much warmer outside now. Um, and then we're going to go to Lowe's, get some stuff for the house, and then go back to the rental house and um, work on it. I'm going to try to stain all of the fencing in the yard today. Um, we'll see how it goes because <laughs> I do have Tommy and Ben's on call. So we'll just see what we can get done today. But um, yeah, I'm just going to change my clothes and then head back down there. Hello you guys, it's about four o'clock now. We're at the rental, but we're about to head home. Um, we've basically spent all day here, so we're definitely ready to head home. Um, and I'm really not sure what we're gonna get up to, so I will check in with you guys in a bit. Okay, we just got home and I'm so hungry. But honestly guys, I think I'm just gonna make this vegetable fried rice and this orange chicken from Trader Joe's. Tommy is going to have an avocado and a banana, and then I might give him some of the fried rice. We are just heading out for a walk. I'm just waiting on Ben, um, but we're gonna take Beck and Bella. Also, I do have a pile of mail sitting there and a couple packages um, that I'm gonna open with you guys later. We just got home from our walk, and I wanted to open up these packages with you guys. Um, this one is a float for Tommy, and I know I had that float that I showed you guys not that long ago that my realtor gifted us when we moved here last fall, but that one, he doesn't get wet at all, like no water gets inside of it, and he kind of just lays on his back and lounges, which he didn't love, like he kept trying to get out of it the whole time. Um, so I got him this one. So that his legs, he's more like sitting up and his legs are in the water, because the other one, he kept leaning to one side, and like almost tipping himself over. Whereas this one is basically just sitting up. So he's like that kid right there. So that way his whole lower half is in the water. So I feel like he'll like this one a lot more. Um, I know I told you guys the other day that I had, I can't remember when I said it, but I had, um, a uh, guy come over to give me a quote for the pool heater and I'm just not sure if we're gonna do it yet or not because it is really expensive because um, our gas thingy is on the opposite side of the house from the pool equipment 
So they have to go like on that side of the house, up like through the attic and then down and then to the pool equipment. So anyway, it's pretty expensive. Um, so with the rental house and everything, I think we're just gonna hold off for right now. But anyway, <laughs> um, our pool should be warm, hopefully in June, um, just naturally, cause it's so hot here. But anyway, here's the shade thing. And then I'm just gonna inflate it like I did the other one with that pump I got from Target. But this is what it looks like. So he just sticks his legs in these little holes and he can be in the water. So I feel like he'll like that a lot. And then this one I'm super excited about. Um, this is from Pottery Barn Kids. And in June, the second week of June, my stepkids are coming and um, we're gonna go to the Grand Canyon and to Sedona. Um, so we wanted to get a hiking backpack for Tommy because we have a baby Bjorn, but um, you know, he's getting big and I just feel like a hiking backpack would be better for hiking. <laughs> And also, this has a shade thing, so I'll show you guys. Um, but anyway, it's from Pottery Barn Kids, but the brand is Osprey. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, I'll show you guys in a second. But they had lots of different colors. Um, I just got a light gray one. I didn't want to get the black one because I didn't want it to be too hot. But this is the brand. It was pretty expensive. I think it was like three hundred dollars. But I wanted to get a next one. Um, so let me see. How do you work this thing? Oh, okay. So this is the part that goes on my back, and then this goes around my waist here. And then, I'm not sure how you want to be able to tuck this in somehow, I'm sure. Here it is all put together. I am so happy with the color I picked and the inside actually looks so nice and comfy. So everything is adjustable, like the height and everything. And he can be in this up to 50 pounds. Um, well, it's 48 pounds, but. And he was 18 something the last we weighed him. So it should fit him for quite a while. guys happy sunday i haven't showered or anything yet i'm just coming to grab a coffee real quick um black rock is just like literally across the street from our house so coming to grab a drink and then i'll go home and get ready i just got a mai tai fuel We 
are just playing outside. Um, ben had to make rounds at all three hospitals this morning, so once he gets home, we're gonna go over to the rental. Ben actually got caught up at work, so T and I just came to the rental house by ourselves. He's just asleep in the car right now, which is why I have it running. But I'm gonna see how much we can get done, um, and I will check in with you guys when I'm all done here. It's noon, and we are just taking a break from walking on the rental to grab some lunch, and I'm taking tea to, I mean, Ben to Arcadia Farms Marketplace. Um, I know I just came here the other day with you guys, but it's so good. He hasn't been here yet, and I'm interested in them catering Tom's first birthday, so I want to take Ben and show him. The warm Italian sandwich. Mm -hmm. And pineapple, iced tea. Oh, I got a turkey and potato salad. What'd you get? Oh, I got a uh, white chocolate lemon bar and a refill of my iced tea. Mm -hmm. They power me through, yeah. We're going back to the rental now. Um, we are a little, little donut pizzeria right there. Yeah. Hello, you guys. T and I just got home. Um, ben is still there, but he's going to be heading home soon. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you guys T's new float because I just blew it up. Um, just clean up now. Okay, so. This is the old one, the one that um, my realtor got for us when we moved here. So he just lounges in here on his back. Um, and this is his new one. So his legs go in there and his whole lower half is in the pool. So I definitely think he's gonna like this a lot more. Um, I would have loved this one if he was like younger, but um, we just started using our pool. We really don't even use it that much because it's still cold. but. Anyway, I just feel like he's kind of past this one because he doesn't really like to lounge anymore. So I feel like he's gonna love this. He's asleep right now, but when he wakes up, I'm gonna put him in it, in the pool. Um, but yeah, also this Palo Verde tree is seriously making my yard a mess. Like, <laughs> it is crazy. Um, but anyway, it's about 90 outside, so. I haven't felt the water yet, but hopefully it's warm enough. T just has a swim diaper on, so I don't know what's allowed on YouTube, but I'm not going to show him. Um, but he's just hanging out in the shade over there. Um, I'm hanging out on the lounge chair, and I actually opened the gate up for the girls to come in because I felt bad. So Bella's just drying herself off on the turf right now. Beck's eating something. I don't know what. She's gonna dry herself off too. But yeah, they love the water, so I just thought I'd let them in with me. 